Alright guys, so this is our scroll saw. Um, we have a couple of these in the classroom for you so you can all be going at once. Um, so I'll take you through the basics of this machine um, and then I'll show you um, how to um, cut the laminate boards that we did last lesson, um, glued up last lesson. So we're going to need our safety goggles for these most definitely. So we're popping those on and hair tied up is a big one for this one as well. Um, so how we're going to set up the machine, so it's going to be plugged into the, um, the tabletops um, and we've got our light up here, not necessary, if you feel like you don't need it, pop it up, um, just in a place that's not going to shine on you. We're going to be um, showing you how to um, make it safe for you guys in the best way. So we're going to use this foot, it's like on a sewing machine, if you've ever used a sewing machine before. We're going to bring this up, we're going to twist this knob, which is going to loosen this. It has both the guard and the foot attached to it. You're going to put your piece under it, and you're going to want just a little bit of hover room um, before you tighten that up again. Make sure that it's um, loose on both sides. Sometimes they can be a little bit wobbly, and you don't want it to be too tight on one side because it will weigh you down from being able to push your piece through. So that's, that's a good um, loose that we want. And then we're going to pop this um, guard back down over the blade securing your fingers from being cut. Um, your fingers can fit through, um, so don't obviously go past the guard. There's no need to. Um, second thing, when we're pushing our um, boards through, um, especially because we're going to have that warp in your board, um, put that warp, um, the curve facing down like this. So if you're pulling it down, you're going to be going like that. Um, because that is, first of all, that's where our outline is going to be. Um, but it's also just easy to manage that way. Um, so we're going to be putting this through um, and when you're using the scroll saw um, you want to be putting more downwards pressure than forwards. Um, the machine will cut it for you um, so you don't want to be pushing um, too far forwards or you can um, snap the blade. We don't want those um, to be happening. It happens fairly often each year but if we can avoid doing that this year that would be lovely. Um, so we're just going to push it through very gently, um, it will cut it for you. Excess pressure is not going to help you cut it faster. This is your point of view for the machine. So we've got our on switch here, our on emergency off here. Don't touch this knob, we've set it up for you. Um, and also don't touch this one, that gets this blade to come out. So we don't need any of those. All you'll be needing to do is adjust the foot for your board. So making sure this guard is down and we have our safety goggles on, hair tied up. Okay, let's get started. One hand at the front, one hand at the back, or the sides for your bigger boards. If it starts to vibrate, just put more downwards pressure, yeah? And if it sounds too noisy, you're probably pushing forwards too much. So just relax and let it, let it cut for you. It's gonna take a while. So you're going to have some patience. So if you make a mistake, you can always stop the machine um, and then it's going to be hard to um, back out this way. So you're just going to turn it on, making sure you're holding your piece. And you're just going to wiggle it really gently until it slips back out for you and then immediately turn it off. Another tip for cutting on the scroll saw um, is putting your work at a slight angle. So you can see that it's not completely straight like this. You're going to want to have it like that. Um, and this is um, because it, the blade will um, bring the, your job in at a little bit of an angle. So, so you can hear that it's gotten too loud, so I'm not putting enough pressure at the top, obviously, because I'm filming one-handed. Try, don't try this at home. So that's going to give you more of a straight cut because you've got it on an angle. Makes sense? So just a little bit to the left and you'll be able to get to your line and move along it straight 